One of the most common questions that we're asked here at Anderson Seed and Garden is, what can I plant right now? You know, when it comes to vegetables, what can go on the ground right now? And we've got a, a guide here at the store. It's uh, actually our seed list, and so it's got all of our bulk vegetable varieties on the seed list, which gives you some good suggestions of what you could plant and what our favorite varieties are. So seed list is really helpful. We've grown all these varieties here in Cache Valley and we know they do very well in our area. But on the back side is our planting guide and it actually tells you how deep and how far apart, how much space between rows, how much seed you need to do a hundred feet. And it also tells you when to plant and what you can plant depending on what the weather is. Now, all of your cold crops, they can go in basically as soon as the soil dries out in the spring. So as early in the spring as you can get out there and work your soil, you can put all your cold crops in. Things like kale, so we've got some beautiful kale already growing right here. It could be transplanted right outside right now. I've got, uh, this is a, the curly vates kale. We've also got the red Russian kale, real popular plant right now. So kale, spinach, lettuce, radishes, onions. We've got onion plants. So these are the Dolce Grande onions that come from Texas and these are ready to, to transplant out. You know, right now, as you know, like I said, as soon as the soil is workable in the spring, those plants can go out. They can handle cold, they can handle snow uh, with, with no problem. And uh, you can plant those up until about the middle to the latter part of May and those plants will do just fine. So we're talking broccoli and cabbage and cauliflower. We've got some, some nice cabbage plants in stock and uh, you know, they can be planted from as early as the soil is workable until about mid to the latter part of May for all those early crops. Then as the weather starts to warm up, usually about the middle part of April, you can start planting carrots and chard and beets and parsnips and even potatoes as well too. Now when you're transplanting some of these plants, it's always a great idea to use a little bit of rooting solution to help get them established. So let's say we want to take our, our lovely broccoli plants right here and we want to transplant those outside and we want them to get established as quickly as possible. You know, sometimes to, to take those out of the little containers does a little bit of damage to the root system. Uh, look at those roots. So you can see how, how much root system there is on those plants already. But when you take those, you transplant them right outside, sometimes those roots struggle a little bit to, to work their way into the new soil. So using a, a transplant solution like our, our kangaroo roots. So this is a brand new product from, uh, from Fox Farm. And the kangaroo roots has a Oh, probably about 15 different kinds of beneficial microbes and also beneficial mycorrhiza in there with a mild fertilizer to encourage some root development and help your transplants get established a lot faster. We've been using the kangaroo roots this spring and we've watched just in a matter of days, we've watched the root systems double and even triple after we've transplanted plants. So if you take a, a plant like this with a lot of root system that's, that's getting started in, in the soil where I just took it out of that container and when we transplant it into our garden, we use the kangaroo roots on it, you'll watch those roots just double and even triple in size in just a week or so. And all of a sudden those roots will be going out into that, into that other soil and your plants will get established faster. They won't go through transplant shock as quickly. So using a transplant solution like the kangaroo roots really makes a big difference in how well your plants do. Now when it comes to your tender plants, we're looking about uh, Mother's Day to Memorial Day to transplant and to plant your tender varieties of, of crops like beans and corn, tomatoes, peppers, squashes, melons, cucumbers, all those plants are really sensitive and so we've got to watch the weather and see what's going to happen but usually our last frost in Cache Valley is around the 20th or the 25th of May and we want to keep our eyes on the weather and see what's going to happen so if we do transplant some less hardy plants outside then we'll be able to get those protected and, uh, and, and help them through the early part of the season. But when it comes to hardy plants like your kales and your spinach and lettuce and radishes, all those can go in as soon as your soil is workable and definitely use a transplant solution on those to help get those started faster than they would on their own. <laughs>